everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because as of today, Threshold Design with Studio McGee has officially launched their summer collection on Target's website. So we're gonna head off to the store. I'm gonna show you all the new inventory that's been hitting the shelves lately. And this is gonna be a little more than your typical shop with me. I'm gonna give you guys a ton of styling tips, styling advice, and show you how I actually styled some of these pieces in my own home. And then just some fun designer dupes for comparison so you guys can see how great these prices really are. So it's gonna be a really fun video. I'm so stoked to go shopping with you all and without further ado, let's go to Target. Okay, so here we are at Target and one of the things I first noticed were the new furniture pieces. And I love this new woven chair and how the lines of it kind of resemble this Fields chair from Crate and Barrel designed with Leanne Ford and it's priced at $1,000. It's almost as if the Fields chair and the Tivoli chair had a baby and it only cost $280. That would be this guy. Super pretty and would be a really gorgeous accent in any living room. I also loved this accent chair with more simple lines. I thought the wood frame detail on the back was gorgeous and this chair is priced at $275 and comes in both a light and a dark option. Another newer piece is this racetrack console table. Curves are really big right now for living room furniture pieces and I love the straight lines on the base of this piece and how they contrast really well with the curved top. Another item that's been around for a couple of months but is one of my all-time favorites is this Thatcher stool. It's priced at $70 and is a really great affordable option that's similar to the Arlene stool from Lulu in Georgia. And you could style this with a small plant and a candle and put it next to a reading chair in a small nook of a hallway or in a bedroom or bathroom. We have a vintage stool styled very similarly in our guest bath and I love how it instantly just makes it feel so cozy and spa-like in there. And here we are seeing more curvy living room furniture with this new Reedsville Ottoman. This would pair really nicely as an accent chair footrest, or you could use two of them for extra seating opposite a sofa so people could gather around a coffee table for a game night or something like that. Now moving on to the new home decor pieces, we have this decorative marble disc that really closely resembles these marble stands from West Elm, except this one is only $30 and would look gorgeous on a console table or as shelf styling decor. I also spotted this new statement vase that has a slightly distressed look to it and it would be really pretty with some long statement stems in it on a coffee table, a kitchen counter, or on a dining table. I also noticed a bunch of new ceramic candles and my two favorite scents were Hope and Kindness and I actually just brought the Kindness one home yesterday and I absolutely love the scent of it and how it doubles as a really pretty decor. There's also a lot of options when it comes to decorative bowls, and this one was just released today actually, and I love the slight distressing detail that it has. And there are also other options when it comes to decorative bowls, not just this one. They have a really pretty scallop one that would look great out on the counter as a fruit bowl. And then my personal favorite is this folded bowl. I really love the faux aging detail on it and how the shape of it is just really interesting and unique. This would also work as a fruit bowl, but it could also be really pretty on its own on a shelf or on a console table. Next up we have these decorative bells that are only $10 each and they were actually out of stock for a while but they recently restocked them and they come in two different colors and if you all watched my spring decorate with me you saw that I took one of each and hung them up together as wind chimes on our back patio. They've held up really well out there so far and I will say it does take a really strong breeze for them to make any sort of noise though. Another thing that I love to look for at Target are pillows, and this one is currently one of my favorites. I love the slight ruffle detail on the end and the window pane pattern. This pillow has personality without being overpowering, and it is priced at $30. Another pillow that I love is this indoor outdoor striped pillow. They have a removable cover and we actually have these out on our patio and I love the subtle pop of color that they give to our outdoor space. They're almost like a denim color and are priced at $15 and are available in several different colors. A really big trend that we are seeing right now are floral inspired pillows. And I think pillows are a really great piece to participate in trends with. You can easily swap them out and reuse the insert with another cover later and I think Target does a really good job with this trend because they have a great selection and they keep the pattern subtle so they aren't too overwhelming or distracting. When styling floral pillows, I like to work in groups of three. My first pillow being the largest is usually just a solid color. And then my medium sized pillow can have a slight or subtle pattern or texture to it. And then I will accent it with a third pattern pillow, usually a floral that has a little bit more going on. 
Another thing that Target has a lot of right now are brass and gold accents. And gold is a great material to decorate with if you already have a lot of wood tones going on in your space. It's a great way to kind of break that up and add in another material and just create a little bit of a pop. I really loved this brass metal accent table. It's actually adjustable and is a great dupe for this Pottery Barn one and is available for only $90. If you're wanting more of a subtle pop of gold, they also have this really pretty footed tray priced at $20. This would be really great to put on a shelf, use in a bathroom, or on a kitchen countertop. Now, if brass and gold just aren't your thing, they have some more earthy stone trays, which is also a really great material to mix in with wood in your space. It's a great contrast against it, and usually you are putting a tray on a wood surface more than likely, a coffee table, a console table, a dresser, things like that. So these are some really great things to place on there as well. Now, something that we cannot overlook in this collection are the faux greenery options. They have such a large variety here and it's great for those of us who are missing that green thumb jean. I am included in that. I just don't know why, but I feel like I always kill plants, but they have so many tabletop options and it's something that you can honestly never have enough of in decor. Um, in my opinion, it just really helps freshen up a space and give the illusion that you are bringing the outdoors in. So they have lots of different sizes here. Large and small would be great for a mantle, a kitchen countertop, shelves, things to accent books with. There's really so many reasons why you would need to add this to your decor and I personally will find any excuse, including this faux olive arrangement. This guy was only $30 and I love the subtle rustic charm that it just gives to our bathroom. I also purchased this faux tree. It is $170 and I love the neutral rustic pot that it comes in. That is a pro of buying a faux tree from Target is that usually they come in a really pretty pot, which is not the norm when you are buying a faux tree. So I love how realistic the tops of the leaves look, but the undersides, not so much. So what I did was I carefully positioned all of the stems so that the undersides weren't very visible. And I love the overall look that it gives to our upstairs room. It's a great alternative to an olive tree since I have one of those in just about every room of my home so I love that this tree switches things up but still gives off that overall rustic vibe. There were also a couple of potted arrangements that I spotted in the outdoor section that I really liked. This faux fern was pretty with its distressed pot. It was priced at $30. And then there was also this really pretty flower arrangement that adds a subtle punch of spring and summer color without being overpowering. And this guy is priced at $30 as well and is one of my favorite arrangements in this whole collection. Another thing that is going to be big this summer is woven decor. I see this trend all over the place. Again, one of those really easy and expensive things to decorate with and participate in the trends. It's not a huge piece of furniture, but it's something that's easy to swap out or change later if you know you grow tired of it. This collection has a ton of it, and I loved seeing all of the different pieces that can really add lots of warmth to your summer decorating. Another trend that is big right now is vintage inspired artwork. And this framed still life painting was only $20 and it really resembles artwork that's being sold on designer websites for hundreds of dollars. And I love how you can get the same exact look for a lot less. Another thing that I love buying at Target is lighting. And here is really where I notice lots of high-end designer dupes. First, we have this gorgeous wood table lamp, and this looks almost identical to the beachside lamp from Serena and Lily, which is almost $400. And here at Target, you can get it for $40. And I actually have this on our dresser at home, and I love the casual coastal vibe that it gives off. Next up, we have this woven table lamp priced at $45. This is such a steal compared to the similar lamp being sold on Serena and Lily for almost six times that price. Here we have one of my favorites. This vintage inspired ceramic lamp is only $65 and Pottery Barn sells one for almost $300 that looks super similar. This next lamp is $90, but I love the vintage inspired finish on it and how it truly looks to be aged. And this helps give your decor so much character. And I love how Target is really embracing the vintage inspired look in these collections so we can all achieve that designer lived in feel on a budget. 
Next, I hopped on over to the hearth and hand section and I really enjoy how this collection always has a lot of really aesthetically pleasing serveware and bakeware. I feel like the products here just really make me enjoy being in the kitchen. And I love this board and knife set. It costs $25 and this could be really great to have on hand for a host or a hostess gift if you need one last minute. And another thing I really liked was this paper towel holder. It was $17 and I just love the simplicity of it and the ceramic base that it had. I also liked this set of hot pads. I hang my hot pads on my cabinet poles just because it's super convenient to have it right there and that way they can double as decor also. I also loved this spouted mixing bowl. They have this in a couple of different sizes and something that I spotted that I thought would be really fun is this bar cart. If you are short on counter space, this could be fun to make a little coffee station or a little cocktail station for when you entertain. And something that could look really cute on the bar or cocktail station is this retro Bluetooth radio. It also has Bluetooth speaker capabilities as well and I just think that this is such a fun way to add an aesthetic speaker into your decor for a reasonable price. I also spotted these really cute plant misters that you could place on a shelf for a little functional pop of color and this plant stand would be a great way to add some coziness to an empty corner or a blank wall if you just popped a little plant on top of it. I also thought that these faux chrysanthemums were so pretty and they would look gorgeous popped in a clear vase with maybe some water to give them a super realistic look. Next, I headed on over to the outdoor section and I love this new conversation set from Threshold designed with Studio McGee. I love the gold accents. I think that is such a designer look. I also loved this fire pit from Jungalo. I thought it had some fun personality while still being neutral. And they also have a bunch of stuff that you can get for your garden. I spotted these little door stoppers for $10 and I thought they'd actually be really cute for shelf styling decor. As far as outdoor decorating goes, I always like to find some cute citronella candles to style with and there is no shortage of them here. So recently I popped one on a little tray with some coasters and a plant just to give our patio a more homey feel. They also have some really pretty outdoor woven trays that are meant for the outdoors. So, you know, they hold up better to water so you can easily clean them off, which is nice since we have a ruthless pollen season here in North Carolina and that's just nice to have. So there's also some pretty baskets for added aesthetic storage as well. And then lastly, I have a planter and vase addiction. So who would I be if I didn't include them in this video? Um, I love the shape of this one. I think the color would look pretty if you gave it a little coat of neutral spray paint in my opinion but I always like to look for some drainage holes look at me the non-green thumb girl giving you guys planter advice but just something I look for recently in our outdoor space I've really been looking to layer my planters a little bit just to add some depth and this is a great place to look for different shapes and sizes of planters to group together to do that you can find them for really great prices and they have such a good variety also, back in the home decor section, I found this really pretty stoneware planter with a cute handle detail. These do conveniently have drainage holes, so you can plant herbs or whatever you want to in them. I currently have mine styled on a shelf, and I love the vintage handmade look that it gives off. Same thing with this distressed planter, really nice convenient drainage hole, and I really love the sturdiness that this thing has and the vintage vibe that it gives off as well. All right, everyone, so that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, all of the items are linked below in order, so hopefully you should be able to find everything. I also linked some other items that were released today that I could not find in the store, so that is down there as well. And I just wanna thank you all so much for your support and your kindness and your encouragement. It really means so much to me, and I wanna thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.